I am the worst human being in the world. All right, here we are on top of Weathertop. And I'm Sam right now, and there's the save and continue stone. So I've only been here in this free mode one or two times. Um, actually, I have no memory of this. So, let's switch to Tom Bombadil and Treasure Trove into the Treasure Trove. And he has a disco file. Alright, I got a new uh, blacksmith design. I really needed that. Release the river. Dang, this thing drives me nuts. Um, just... Okay, that drives me nuts. So I did the first part of this level, and it was really challenging. I got stuck. I couldn't remember how to do it. So that would have been very slow and tedious to watch. But I'm glad I got done with that part. I could do some stuff. Some new material. There's a rock, okay. Oh, you throw it you throw it against the plant here. I like the logical progression of the Lego games. One thing builds upon another. I think that's really great for kids. And it's really great for adults to keep my 51 year old sorry mind active we're all kids inside uh, it's good to uh, tap into that at least once a day well I have comments about that but I'm trying to keep it ready G There's this new uh, character I want to create called Sensor Man. He's kind of like a superhero, but his whole thing is he censors everybody. <laughs> and then there's some other character who is always censored. And he's going to wear an all black rubber outfit. Let's see, let's change into Legolas, which I'm just still so amused that his name is Lego Le Lass. Okay. He actually has Lego in his name. What could be better in a Lego game? Okay. So, even my coin meter has not been filled up on this level, so this is a great one to do. I have four out of ten uh, of those golden chests. Oh yeah, one other thing I wanted to see with this video is I'm filming at night right now, so I wanted to see how the video looked filming at night in comparison to the morning if it's any better. I get too much sunlight when I film in the morning. But that's when I'm in the mood to film. Um, one other thing is uh, I can't close the door to this studio because public storage doesn't like it. They don't want people living here, so I understand their point of view. I don't live here, I just do my thing here. I'd live here if I could. Well, I have a van. I don't live in any one place, okay. Um, let's switch to Tom Bombadil. Because that's why I have that character, so he can pull on these orange handles. 
Everything is so sexual with me, I can't help it. I'm 51. <laughs> well, oh, look at that. Wow, what did I do? Sometimes you do things in the game and it puts you too far forward and then you have to do the entire level to go back and get something you missed. Let's change to an elf who can jump. Okay, that, that elf can jump a little. Now I'm just going back to make sure I didn't miss anything. See, there's a coin meter up there. I have to fill that up completely. So, in playing Lego games, you really... Hey, I bumped into thorns and it killed me. Dang it! So, to fill up that coin meter I learned in Lego Star Wars, you have to do every single thing. You have to smash every single thing you can. Uh, I like Sam because he smashes things with a frying pan. So it's worth coming back here and checking. So I'm on the lookout for things to smash. Okay. Did that, did that, did that. Don't want to go over there. And look at this detail on these levels. Man, they really did a great job. Really feels like Middle Earth. Even that coin I had to get. Every single coin you have to get. And don't let them disappear. You have to get them. You can't finish a game unless you do it. Alright, let's switch to Sam. He can light a fire real easy. Real easily. Um, I've uh, lived in this country my whole life and I still can't speak English. Okay, let's see what's here. I'm still learning. English is a hard language. Because it doesn't make any sense. In this country you have a mixture of cultures coming in. Oh my goodness. So you have confusion from the French influence combining with the German influence. And they have opposite rules. No one ever told me that growing up. Well, maybe they did. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Um, I need a dwarf. I like Gimli as a character. I identify with him. <laughs> I like his helmet, his armor. He's short. All right, look at that. That is some good progress. I like the Dwarven Rage. Short men who are angry is always really funny. <laughs> it's never unfunny. It's always funny. That's why people like those Hitler videos because he was a short little man and really angry and pissed off. Okay, let's see. I need Aragorn. Okay, that was good. Oh, I like this part where he attracts uh, hobbits. That's a fun feature of the game. So, he's always trying to find out where the hobbits went to. They're little creatures that just hide well. Uh, kind of like brownies and stories. 
Uh, the little people are hard to find. So, uh, let's see, what's this? Oh, it, we can actually, can you do something here? Um, so the Wizard of Oz was published in 1900. The notes for Middle Earth were begun in 1919. The Tin Woodman of Oz was published during World War I. And I really wonder if J.R.R. Tolkien read Wizard of Oz in some of those books. The thing about <coughs> the thing about Wizard of Oz is it had a map of the land. And you don't really see that much in books, okay? For a map of the magical land. Disneyland has a map, okay. Anyway, back then it was a pain to publish drawings in books. Used to, uh, they did that in second edition sometimes. Well, that's not true. They were printing drawings and books. What am I talking about? Alice in Wonderland. So anyway, Alice in Wonderland, Wizard of Oz, and then Middle Earth. They have maps and drawings. All right. So it is possible that. Tolkien got the idea for drawing a map. Uh-oh, look at this crap. All I'm wondering is if Tolkien knew about the Wizard of Oz books. There were, what, 16 of them published? By 1919? This is a scary part. Don't do it, Frodo! Oh, he did it. This stuff scares the shite out of me. Uh, this is why I haven't done this level. This scares the crap out of me. It's terrifying. Frodo used the ring too much. Got him into trouble. So here's Sam. What's cool about this is that you can see Frodo wandering around. So both characters have their jobs to do. And I'm bummed out because I didn't finish what I wanted to finish in the previous part before I got to the top here. That means I have to go back. That's oh, going to be a pain. Okay, there's another golden chest. I only need two more. Okay, let's turn into Sam. I am sure that people have filmed the entire game. <laughs> I watched the Lego Lord of the Rings movie from this game a couple of years ago, so... This is on the PlayStation 3. I'm a little late to the party, but, little, but better late than never. I can barely talk. You'd think I'd know how to talk by now. But that is not true. What's this? A save stone? Save and continue. Progress in this level will be saved. If you quit and return later, you can continue from this checkpoint. Really? I don't know how to do that. Whenever I replay a level, it just sets me back at the beginning. So I don't know how to get to the checkpoints. Maybe there's a way, maybe there's something I don't know. That makes sense, because there's so much I don't know about. Okay, I still have to fill up that coin meter. Uh, 
Such a pain. Sam lighting fires is one of my favorite parts of the game. He does it so easily. What's this? Uh, more coins. Do I push this? Yep, I push it. Alright, and then Frodo will put that together. Ah, uh, so I have to change into Gimli. Already 15 minutes on this video. Okay, thanks for watching.